who is more capable of being promiscuous, men or women? Women. Women, okay. I mean, so wouldn't that lend itself a bit to women have more control when it comes to hookup culture? We already talked about this. Women are the gatekeepers of sex, but I was saying yeah. men m misrepresent their intentions. They misrepresent whether they're being exclusive to that woman, and that could lead the woman to kind of open up the gate under a false premise. But do you think all women who who are engaging in sex, they're, it's always like going in with the intention of having a long-term relationship? I'm sure there's women that go out to parties, go out to clubs, and they're like, he's hot, hook up. Like, I don't think all women have sex in pursuit of a relationship necessarily. I, Not all, do you think I most? Agree with that. I think most? it's very socially unacceptable to admit that, but women will give goes sex. Down. Goes down at the club. Yeah. Goes down at the bar. When, goes when the down attraction at the is high frat enough, party. The, the woman will provide sex, even not under false pretenses. And think about traveling too. Shit, it goes down. When, when you're traveling, you know that there's no shot of anything long term. If you're doing fucking Euro rail pass in Europe, like. People hook up when they're traveling, so well, well, there's no expectation of long term there. Kind of what makes it safer. It's like I think that a lot of men have this idea. Well, I think women have this idea that all men want sex, and that's true. Um, but it's not the only thing that we want. And I think the converse is that men tend to have this idea that all women want a relationship. And I don't think that that's as true as the opposite. It's like women want a relationship just from the people that they want to have the relationship from. Like a lot of guys will lead with the relationship as if it's like, that's all a woman wants. That's the be all and end all of her like objectives here. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it's like two bell curves. Like there are definitely a lot of men who want relationships and there's a lot of women who want casual sex. I was more so talking about like the averages. In relation to the traveling thing, I don't think flings fall under the category of hookup culture because hookup culture pretty much means like emotionless sex. I think like if you travel and you're like on vacation for two weeks or a month, it's not a long-term relationship, but I think if there's emotions involved or it's like a romantic thing that I don't think that puts it under hookup culture. I think opinion. it falls, I mean, I, I would think like uh, if you're in, in, Mykonos or a, some con some place for three days, and there's a guy, and you f him like that's hookup culture. I guess I some I, people consider if you I add consider the romance. Fling. Some people consider if you add the romance, it's no longer hookup, like casual hookup. Well, I think if there's no prospect of a long-term relationship, it falls under the umbrella of hookup culture. 